Live from Studio B in Maseru, this is LTV News in English. Everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us. News making headlines tonight. Now says it's conducting its own corona-related researches through its innovation hub. Buta Buta street vendors complain of lack of business due to the lockdown. Chief Tisile Masirubani tables the strategies and achievements of the National Command Center in Parliament. News in detail. The National University of Lesotho now, through its innovation hub facility, works tirelessly to conduct researches and innovation to address the spread and control of COVID-19. The school, however, stresses the need for mutual collaboration with the government. The National University of Lesotho Innovation Hub coordinator, Mr. Motlazi Gezi, emphasized that they are determined to help the government in the fight against COVID-19. However, they are stagnant now as they await funds from government to execute researchers, and the lockdown period is also a hindrance. Then, it's uh, we are we are hoping okay, very soon to do it then we Because the good thing is we have a, we have the proper expertise. We have less in a state of the art machinery, but we do have machines. Funding our two saw is the machine, and um, maybe more maybe smart partnerships could also happen. Uh, but at currently we are we are awaiting for our government to to talk and collaborate with us. We are ready. We have done something. Maybe we just need to be met halfway. Furthermore, Mr. Getty has also mentioned that, that among the innovations in place now is a smart bucket that electronically wash hands ICT startup application whereby phones are used to purchase in order to avoid exchange of money and contact tracing application. <laughs> and then transaction is hala how na any contact is there generally even we are with some contract contact tracing uh app whereby uh we suspect the we share ho bona u la kopana le boma le bona ga ba trace ba le bona ba kopana le boma so yon yon na yon yona re kolotse ona tena we are a competition a competition na ke ya ke ke ya mana le ba le ba thuba bana le bo hlale ba go program the computer so um it's ongoing as, as we speak the innovation of other necessities will be determined by the support rendered by stakeholders a mathabo ramatanyani reporting for ltv news maseru Butabute street vendors indicate that though they have been given an opportunity to sell their items to any living, the lockdown situation has negatively affected them as few customers buy their products. They highlighted this in an exclusive interview with Lesotho Television on Tuesday. Mrs. Mahupolang Machoba, one of the street vendors, says they struggle so much to collect enough money to buy food since most of the people who used to buy their products are at home due to lockdown. She says sometimes they go home pocketing only five maludi. As a result, they are still faced with a challenge of poverty. She says sometimes they share what they have managed to buy. <laughs> Street vendors therefore pleaded with the government to support them with food parcels. 
ishile khalapile go bana jwa le nna ntho e boetseng ya ngkhata khata tsa matla ke a hore go ntsa thu di phallelo di phallelo fela jwa le di phallelo tsena di tsa makasuwe su on the same token taxi drivers requested for an extension of time to transport passengers ula ka thata distance ene telele batho bana ene o khutla o sala e tshakana ko ngona ko lena ko ene mo seretse nyane go latela tshebetso ena dikologi ha e ba mo sono ka wa sheba sheba o latela re ithutile hore ntwe nanang ha e so ka e ba ding ha gona mone o ko re ke ke letsena ko nyana mme ha o ra ka re fana ko nyana bo nyane ba itshukudi bana ba tsa me ka bo formal ka bo 5 go tswa ka re ne tlabela tabena ba itse diang maraisane ltv news botabote Health Minister Honorable Nkakukabi says 250 nurses from the Lesotho Defence Force who commenced the COVID-19 screenings to the Basotho who are still crossing through porous borders are starting next week. Ese pio sa bona sa ho ya mono ke ho lo fela sa hloba batho ba atle bentse ba kena ba tswa di ba kentse o tsa pakama ho netefatsa hore maemo a bona ane ba itse. Me ba ile ba kopana le ba le kala la bophelo. ho sebisana le ho thusana ho rena di hlahlobotsena ho tlwa ka screening di ho sebetswa jwang ka ha e sentse le baoki me di thupelo tse jwalo ba se ba di etsetsane ho thusana le ho thakelana ka malebela me ba se ba le malalala o tse ba tla tswa le ba oki ba rona ba le kala la bophelo di tsintso o hletse fapane mo ba tla hloma me tiboteng e sebetsana le ho laola maemo ano a di tlhatlobo Roboetse hape hona le ditliniki tse legolo le mashumi a mahlano 150 tseo ho tsona morero e leng ho ho paralatsa mohlwa mogwa wa tlhatlobo wa 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 ho tsumana le 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 batho be ka bampana le le fulena la corona me di kliniki tsena tse hlwa o weng ke tseo ho bana hetseng le tsena le batho ba bangata ha holo me ele hona ho le ka ho fumana ho rena a re ntse re tsomana le 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 fulena eh bo ya mo bana ha ya le sotho bo ho kae The National Emergency Command Center organized a meeting with the South District Emergency Centers with an intention to share views on their coordination with the National Center and to iron out some challenges that district centers encounter The National Emergency Command Center Deputy Chief Coordinator Mr. Tabondoi said the government has established the district's emergency centers to collaborate with the National Center to ensure that government's intention to protect Basotho against coronavirus pandemic are reached. Di kato tsohle tse tsua man at the National Emergency Command Center. Di ke nwa tsebetsong at the district level ho a fihlalala le man ene tla se kwana di community metseng kwana. However, the district administrators said they are anxious about lack of screening facilities, illegal crossing of Basotho from South Africa, as well as non-compliance of lockdown due to poverty. They added that this put Lesotho at a high risk of contracting coronavirus. le ketswa le tshwaetso ya nthwina me re ntse ga le betse re ba sothoge re se bitse ka thata go hlisa ka ba ba ti emba ha o se wa sabua ka ditaba go bana jwa le ha re ka ga bua kwa la mo le sa utlwe fa le ja gola tsa tsini ne re tla hle go tlo bua ka mo la ga ga bana ka ka gona le mo sa bua nte mo ha o se ga sabua ka ditaba nthwina ha e ka ya fihla re sotho mona ke ne ke bua se a mo yense se nke ge ekitlaga <laughs> Yeah, 
This meeting was among district emergency centers in Mafiteng, Mohalusuk and Kuting. Nichi Khuswane, LTV News, Mohalusuk. After the break, among others, Chief Tisele Masirwani tables strategies and achievements of the National Command Center in Parliament. My fellow countrymen, the Universal Service Fund joined government to urge you to stay at home and to observe all the necessary precautions to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. During this lockdown, stay home and be safe. I am keeping social distancing. Are you? I wash my hands regularly for at least 20 seconds with running water and soap and I sanitize. Do you? During the lockdown, remember to exercise from home, keep fit for your immune system to be stronger. Stay locked but active. Good people, coronavirus is here and it's alive. Let's keep away from it by staying indoors, washing your hands and stay alive. Basutu during lockdown, please stay home and be safe. Basutu, we can beat this by following these very simple yet very important instructions. Wash your hands regularly, sanitize, and also keep your social distance. Remember to stay home during this lockdown. Please stay safe and also take care of yourselves as well as each other. This message is supported by Universal Service Fund. How do you do it? 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 Welcome back and we continue. A woman aged 20 from Hapita in Masero district is said to have appeared before the Masero Magistrate Court for intentionally killing her own one-year-old girl. This transpired in weekly police reports on Monday. The suspect is reported to have strangled this little girl with an intention to kill her. She later threw her into a nearby dam. Police reports reveal that the suspect committed this crime because the deceased father left her after she gave birth to this child. Furthermore, in Mafiteng district, a man aged 25 got arrested for raping a 13 year old girl. The suspect is reported to have been living with the victim through the victim's sister initiative. Moreover, police urge drivers to remove every item in the vehicles when arrive at home in the evening. According to reports, there is an alarming rate of stealing through breaking the windows. Diang Maraisani, reporting for LTV News, Maseru. During Parliament sitting today, the Minister of Communications, who is also the chairperson of the National Command Centre, has tabled before Parliament a statement that entails the establishment of the National Command Centre, its duties and achievements to date. 
Chief Tisile Masirabane outlined in his statement that the decision regarding the extension of the lockdown was taken in agreement with all sectors of the public to ensure that the rights of the people are not evaluated. He further said policies on assisting those who are negatively affected by coronavirus are already formulated. <laughs> World Health Organization. The leader of opposition raised the question requesting to know the exact time that the government will help the needy. In his response, Chief Tesile Masirbani indicated that funds allocated to carry out that task are already set aside and that mostly affected people will soon be assisted. <laughs> Furthermore, the House agreed to move their sittings to 9 a.m. in align with World Health Organization's recommendations. I am Matabo Ramatlangani reporting for LTV News Parliament. On international news making headlines. Uganda's healthcare workers say they are seeing some success in hospital wards as they fight the fast spreading coronavirus. Uganda has confirmed 79 coronavirus infections, 49 recoveries, and so far no deaths. But outside of Uganda's hospitals, healthcare workers face a stigma. The high risk COVID 19 ward at Uganda's Mulago National Referral Hospital was filled to capacity in the past month. But the hospital says recoveries have kept pace with and even surpassed the rate of confirmed coronavirus infections. We said, okay, let's see how this virus will kill people if we maintain them on their normal drugs, if they are hypertensive, we treat hypertension, we treat diabetes, we treat cancers, we treat all forms of diseases. And I think that was part of our success. Dr. Fred Nakwagala says past lessons from Ebola and cholera outbreaks helped prepare them. But he admits COVID-19 poses new challenges, including for healthcare workers. You remain with that sense of fear and anxiety. And also, for you may be strong, but your family where you stay, your community where you, you live and travel, and uh, there's also the issue of stigma. If you go into a market now and uh, the people in the market, the supermarket know you, they kind of don't want to serve you, they kind of feel like they don't want to associate with you. Ugandan Health Minister Dr. Jen Rutha Cheng says the only new confirmed cases of coronavirus are coming in from other countries. Nearly 23 of truck drivers who came either from Kenya or from Tanzania. Within the country, we have not been getting positive cases. And as we draw close to the end of the lockdown, we need to have vital information that will form part of the decisions for lifting the lockdown.
Uganda's lockdown restrictions on movement and gatherings are set to expire or be extended on May 5th. To help make that decision, the Ugandan Health Ministry will conduct a nationwide rapid survey on community transmission, including 20,000 tests for COVID-19 to see if more infections are being missed. Time now for the financial indicators. Cabello de Polo has details on the weather forecast. Let's take a look at the expected weather forecast. Starting with tonight's forecast, it is expected to be mainly fine with few clouds patches, otherwise it will be cool but still cold in the highlands and wind will be light southwesterly. And the minimum temperatures will drop as low as 1 at Oxbow. Smongkong will be 2, while the other places in the highlands will be 3. But in the lowlands, minimum will be 5 in most places. Mafiteng and Mahalisuk will be 6. And tomorrow, it is expected to be mainly fine. And it will be mild in the lowlands, but cool to cold at some places in the highlands. Maximum temperatures will rise as high as 15 Smongkong. Tabatega, Mohotan Kashasna will be 16 degrees Celsius in the lowlands. Maximum temperatures will rise from 17 to 19 degrees Celsius. Friday is expected to be partly cloudy and it will be mild in the lowlands but still cool over the highlands. And the same weather conditions can be expected even on Saturday. Travelers weather forecast Johannesburg will be fine with the maximum of 19, Mbabane fine as well with the maximum of 21, while Harare will still be fine with the maximum of 27 degrees Celsius. Viewers from the weather crew, let us for today. Until we meet again, good night. Let's recap on our bulletin as we conclude. Now says it's conducting its own corona-related researches through its innovation hub. Butawute street vendors complain of lack of business due to the lockdown. Chief Tisile Masirabani tables the strategies and achievements of the National Command Center in Parliament. Well, this brings us to the end of our news bulletin for today. Thank you once again for joining us. Until next time, good night and God bless you.